Gillingham's defeat of South End in the FA Cup in their last game ended in front of three matches without a win. They're going for this clash with Oldham just a point outside the drop zone. The Latics make the long trip south four points but seven places outside the top six. Good control and a nice ball out to Taylor who wants to try and take on defenders. He's beaten Palmer and whipped a dangerous ball across. Nobody gambled for Oldham. Here's Fabian and Brandy making just this second appearance since signing from Manchester United on low. Well, he scored on his first and he almost turned provider. Gillingham about their captain Barry Fuller and their top scorer Simeon Jackson for this game. The boss Mark Simpson admits that the fact Jackson's on international duty with Canada is frustrating. Here's Weston. What an effort that was. Well, who needs Simeon Jackson because that was a beauty. Flahaven was beaten. Still goalless at the priest field. Surging run and a dipping effort. Hazel goes back to his goalkeeper Flahaven. Pumped forward into the Kent air. It's a blustery, stormy afternoon slash early evening now. Rod lights on. Here's Mayer with it all over the top. You can see it being held up in the wind. Brandy got that and went over. And Gillingham, a minute after the hour mark, have a spot kick. Oldham can't believe it. Look how the ball forward held up in the wind. And Grieger went over. He did appear to catch Brandy. Weston, who hit the bar in the first half, scores in the second. Gillingham have the advantage. An emphatic penalty. Well, Oldham will argue long and hard about the decision, but it is slotted away perfectly. Flahaven went the right way, but it was far too powerful. And the home fans are on their feet and happy. Good ball forward with the outside of the boot. Decent Harring and a tough challenge. The referee says he got the ball, so it was fair. Had he not, he could have been in trouble. And it might break it. What a chance this is for Whitaker. Force back, and now he goes for goal. And the angle will have been narrowed. The booze around the ground are for the initial challenge on the halfway line. Well, it was certainly tough, but he did get the ball. Good picture this from Dave Penny's side. And Taylor beats his man up. Can he pick somebody out with the cross? No, he can't. Nobody took command, though. Chance on the edge. Straight at Royce. And a good job for Gilling. Otherwise, the goalkeeper would have been in trouble because he caught that perfectly. A second for the Jills, and they really will be in command. Lovely jinking footwork. He's through on goal hit. Down he goes. Now, was he tripped? Well, the referee appears to think so. And in which case, it could be big trouble. It's only a yellow. And Reuben Hazel is a lucky boy, perhaps, because... Weston looked to be through then. It's still a free kick in a dangerous position. Nutter will take it left footed, but it was a bit of a waste, really. All eyes on the referee are Gillingham on their way to an invaluable three points. They certainly are. Curtis Weston's penalty, the only goal of the game at the priest field. The home fans will go home happy. Gillingham won, Alden nil.